in the U.S., we have a, a CDC, a jointly owned CDC FDA system called VAERS. And whenever there's an adverse event, that's where people go to report. They're supposed to go to report them. If they're even aware of the system, that's where they go to report it, whether it was related or not. It's supposed to provide a, a safety signal um, to alert health authorities if there's something wrong. Does um, Is there something similar to that in Japan that, that's used for adverse events? Yes, yeah, so adverse events, so of course, uh, there is law and regulation to uh, report to Ministry of Health and Welfare and PMDA, and also the responsible uh, pharmaceutical company uh, have to report uh, the adverse events when they get uh, such report from doctors. So uh, actually, uh, our ministry, of, our Department of Ministry and Health and Welfare uh, disclose that uh, reports uh, in the website, the website. So, so is it a government website that they go to to report these? Yes. Uh, and o- can only doctors do it or can citizens, Japanese citizens report it themselves? Not the Japanese citizens themselves, but uh, usually through uh, doctors. Doctors. Report, doctors. But uh, last last year, uh, actually, that uh, March end of March, uh, our government uh, announced to all prefectural government uh, to set up a consultation desk for suffering people uh, who get uh, vaccination. So now uh, I believe that our government know uh, how many people uh, suffered from uh, vaccination. Is there any compensation program in place for the these people that are injured? Is it through the government, or how is that how is that process set up right now? Uh, it's uh, very recently uh, uh, the government announced to operate a vigilance system or a survey system for uh, post vaccination uh, injury or uh, post vaccination syndrome people. At, uh, here, uh, you can see that uh, uh, announcement from our government. This means that surveillance and control uh, support system for uh, COVID-19 infected people and also uh, vaccinated people. And this is not for uh, specific to COVID-19 vaccine, but also other influenza or MMR and other uh, vaccinated people are covered by this saving system. My opinion is this uh, system is not well worked for COVID-19 vaccinated people. That's a point. The, our government collected a report from doctors or pharmaceutical companies, post-vaccination uh, dead people, now over uh, 2,000. But uh, most of them are saved by this uh, law. You understand? Yes, My, yes, no, I do. So I, basically that, that log covers all vaccination types and, and not just COVID-19. Yes. And yes. that's where doctors will go and log any vaccine injuries that take place between any kind of vaccine that's received for flu, COVID, MMR, et cetera. Yes, that's correct. You uncovered any type of um, data manipulation um, by the government trying to hide certain adverse events or deaths from the vaccines? Yes, yes, yes. Um, of course, that the ministry or minister of health and welfare uh, himself says that uh, there is no death. <laughs> uh, they say that there's no deaths at all? Oh, wow. Wow. But it's nobody, a miracle. The only country in the world. <laughs> nobody uh, believes. That's definitely not true. <laughs> nobody wow. Believes. And so uh, the TV announcer uh, interviewed him and uh, asked, uh, but uh, he said, uh, I'm not sure uh, there's dead dead people by vaccine. Yeah. And so the cabinet people wish to hide the uh, truth. It's apparent. 